pedals. I don't often use pedals. I have just bought these two green ones to basically experiment um, over the past couple of years. So I got this DS1 uh, when I first started playing uh, just because my friend at the time had one and I thought you were just supposed to have this pedal so I just bought it. But it seemed to serve the purpose quite nicely for the odd high school concert I guess. It was just that right level of distortion for the songs we were performing. Would I recommend this pedal for black metal? No. Buy an amp and only put money into an amp that you like the distortion sound of. Unless you've been gifted an amp and you want a better distorted sound, then consider a DS1. That's what I would suggest. You can use this to get the Philosophum guitar tone with that little tiny amp thing I have up there. You can check it out on one of my other videos. Otherwise, that's the only reason why I would want to use this pedal is just to mess around and get that classic Burzum sound, but that's not the sound that I want to play with and use professionally. So this is only a necessity buy, that's what I would say. Try and avoid it, but if it's necessity and you really want a better distortion from the amp, then get it. These two pedals are boost pedals. I decided to give it a go and try boosting my angle a couple of years back. So I looked for the cheapest tube screamer possible and I found this one on eBay which was about £30. And it does the job. Um, I will show you in just a second. It's obviously not going to sound like an authentic tube screamer. You know, it will do the job if you want a very, very cheap boost. Now, if you want a very aggressive boost, then go for this Maxon ST9 Pro Plus. Like, um, with the amps, I've only ever tried it with the angle on the Black Star. I haven't used it for the VS100 at the top there, but using this pedal through the angle made it as though the angle was fused with an EVH, which was, um, you know, it's a pretty furious sound. It does sound really, really good and really heavy. However, however, the angle has enough gain and enough capabilities to the point where you don't need to use a pedal through it. Should you buy any of these pedals, if you want to spend as little money as possible and try boosting your amp, go for this. If you want to go for the Cannibal Corpse sound, or if you have a very, very high wattage amp head and you just want that really searing, aggressive sound, or if you have a really aggressive amp head and you want an even more aggressive sound, then go for this. Because um, the SN9 Pro is my favorite boost pedal just because of how mad it is. It really just some, if you dial it in properly, it can sound like your guitar is, has been double tracked. You know, put it on low boost mode and it will just sound super thick and super aggressive. It's just controlling the amount of gain is hard. So unless you've got a noise gate pedal um, and even having the noise gate in the angle inbuilt doesn't really cancel out much of this gain because that's how furious this thing is. Um, you know, run it through a Mesa Boogie, do it Cannibal Corp style, brilliant. It would, that's probably like the best amp to use this um, pedal with, or maybe a JCM 800 from the 80s if you want those things with a bit more boost. Um, anything that's not super, super, super high gain, um, because with the Black Star, it just makes the Black Star sound like a completely different amp and loses a lot of the Black Star tonality, no matter what I did with it. So I just kind of gave up on it. Yeah, that, that's my kind of rundown with pedals. Effects pedals, reverbs, delays, you can use them. I've never used them personally. If you are looking to dive more into the effects sound, um, I'm just going to put down the email address of my friend Daryl, who does all my mixes for the channel. He knows a lot more about effects and what to do and what not to do and how to create really interesting sounds with them. So he's the best person to talk to that I know. But yeah, let's try out this little green tube screamer through the Black Star. So I'm just going to play the riff again. The first time you're going to hear it, it's going to be non-boosted. And I'm going to play that now. And now we're going to add the boost.
pretty impressed with how this cheap tube screamer reacts with the Black Star amp. So I'm just going to jam out a bit more, tell you when I'm activating the boost and when it's off, just so you can hear the difference uh, you know, whilst I'm playing. And this is with the boost on. Now, no boost. Sounds completely different with and without the boost, so um, that's very surprising. That's very surprising. I, I didn't realize how good this uh, little pedal was. So um, yeah, the <laughs> surprisingly for this amp, this is too much, and the cheap, the cheap stuff works better. So yeah, this is the this is the issue with pedals and gear is that there's too many com combinations. There's too many options to the point where like I can only make suggestions, but if if it's not what you like, there's a million more things that you can try to adjust your tone to make it something you do like.